For Jimmy and Louisa, it's day one in Baja, Mexico, trolling inshore for rooster fish. Before the break, Captain Jimmy hooked into the right thing. Got him. Woo, he's a lifter. Whoop. There he is. The crew is hoping for something a little bigger, and although it wasn't a rooster, Louisa hooked into a nice jack. I got him. Fish on. Nice fish, huh? Yeah. Is it pulling a lot of drag? Pulling a lot of drag, yes. Jacks are a fun fish, and they'll put up a heck of a fight, but they weren't the rooster fish that we were after. There was this huge bait ball that we came up on, and there were birds diving in it, grabbing stuff out of it, and there were fish cutting through it. It looked like there were some roosters and some jacks, and just a huge bait ball. We could see it from the drone above, and we could see it from the boat as we were passing by. So we pulled up slowly beside that bait ball, and we slow trolled some live bait right by it, and sure enough, Louisa's rod got hit. Fish on! Hopefully we got a big rooster on. I see the silver. Oh, it's a rooster. I see the stride. That was a little bit bigger rooster fish than the first one, but not a lot bigger. But it was still a fun-sized fish, and it was the right species, so we were on the right track. Nice rooster, Jimmy. Wow. Look at that fish on the surface. Woohoo! Gosh, they're such beautiful fish. I love catching them. I've caught them a few times already and I never get tired of catching them. They're so pretty. All right. Good fish, Louisa. Nice. Biggest one so far. Woo! Biggest one. Look at those beautiful dorsal fish. Yeah. Wow. Welcome to Baja, Mexico. Good job. No monsters yet, but everyone just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yes. Real pretty one. Hmm. All right, guys, about to release this beautiful fish here and hopefully catch another one. Thanks for the fight, buddy. The good thing is that he's kicking right now, so he'll be ready to go very soon. It wasn't a bad sized fish, it was a little bit better. It definitely wasn't the bigger roosters that were cutting through the bait ball, but we got one out of it, so that was cool. Thanks to the bait ball, Jimmy and Louisa have been able to put some roosters in the boat, but it attracts more than just one kind of predatory fish. Among them, in high numbers, is the needlefish. Oh, not exactly what we want here. <laughs> Getting in the way of our rooster fishing. What is it? The needlefish. Oh. Closely resembling the freshwater gar, the needlefish has a long, narrow jaw lined with pin-like teeth. For most fishermen, they're a nuisance. Their sharp bills can often destroy bait and even cut lines. Hey, look at the needlefish did to it. It's destroying it. Gosh. We don't have, sure, we don't have many good baits like that. We have a lot of little ones. and. The needlefish came in and destroyed it right in front of the rooster fish. This is what we're using right here. The needlefish aren't cutting us off, but they are fraying us up, so I'm retying every time I catch one of those. This is 30 pound quattro fluorocarbon by high seas. Really durable stuff. I mean, needlefish's teeth are very sharp, and to be able to not get cut off by them is pretty impressive. This one has it all the way down in his belly, and it was frayed up real good, but still didn't cut me off, so we've been lucking out on that. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. <laughs> 